咏春讲究，出拳要快，用最短的距离，最简单的方式，一招制敌。哎，我叫李大明，是 NUS Law Professor， 也是叶问咏春拳第五代传人。我小的时候身体很脆弱，没有机会做到很多运动。当兵的时候有个机会学咏春，我就找师傅练习。练的时候感觉到是很自然，好像是学过一样。一九八八年我去新西兰读法律，在新西兰有机会找到个四代传人。呃，是我的师傅。从一九八八年到一九九三年，啊、呃，我就跟这个师傅学练咏春。我的师傅介绍我给我的师公谭文帆，在香港教咏春的。一九九三年我就回来新加坡，有机会每年就飞去香港，啊、呃，跟我的师公学，跟我的师公练。Is actually behind the punch. So if you don't move, for example, the most power is actually at this point. In 2006, I started teaching Yong Chun Chen. My reason is that if we don't transmit the art of Yong Chun Chen to future generations, the art will eventually disappear. In the old days, a lot of martial arts was taught in the clan associations, and it was taught in either Mandarin or in dialect. The challenge is that a lot of the younger generation are not either familiar with the dialect, or they may not reach out to their younger generation. One of the things that we did was to teach Yong Chun Chen in English. And we were hoping to reach a new generation of people who did not utilize a dialect of Chinese. Yong Chun is characterized by a number of different things. Uh, but essentially, we're saying that Yong Chun is fast, efficient, and effective. The general idea in Yong Chun Chen is that our opponent is a larger person who is attacking us. And as a smaller person, we cannot afford to take a lot of time to defend ourselves because we don't have the muscular strength to resist them. So the aim is to be fast, efficient and effective and to remove the threat in roughly about two seconds. Yong Chun Chen is a very straightforward martial art. It only has six forms. There are three what we call empty hand forms. The first one is called Xiao Lian Tou, and that form teaches you all the fundamental foundational movements of Yong Chun Chen. The second form called Xin Qiao focuses on movement, how do you turn, how do you kick. It teaches you about the different angles in which you can apply your techniques. The third form is Biao Zi. It teaches you how to generate power as well as release yourself from emergency situations. We have what we call the wooden dummy form, the Mu Ren Zhuang. Most people are familiar with this because of the movies. What the wooden dummy is, is a training tool. When you don't have anyone to practice or, or you want to measure how accurate your technique is, how much power you can generate accurately into the dummy, you will practice your techniques on the wooden dummy itself. Finally, uh, Yong Chun Chen has two weapons forms. The first is what we call the Liu Tian Ban Gun. The pole that we use is about nine feet long. The final form, which is what we call Ba Zam Dao, is considered the highest form of Wing Chun. Most of the time, we won't fight with weapons anymore. The purpose of learning that today is to learn how to generate power. So what you learn translates to your hand technique. Two thousand and eight was a big turning point for the Yong Chun Chen community. The first movie, Ip Man, starring Donnie Yen, came out. After that, there was an explosion. Everybody got excited about Yong Chun Chen. We saw an increased enrollment in our school, and uh, there was a great interest in Yong Chun Chen. Learning anything, especially a martial art, involves a lot of hard work, patience, and dedication. Even though the movie created a lot of interest, a small percentage of those people actually stayed on because they discovered that they enjoyed the movement, the self-defense benefits. People learn for different reasons, maybe for self-discipline, for health purposes, to learn self-defense, sometimes just to learn something new. 
As a law professor, my specialization is in conflict resolution. I teach people how to negotiate and mediate. Initially, people will say there's no similarity between conflict resolution and Yong Junjian. But as you studying it deeper, you'll find that actually there are a lot of similarities. If you think of Yong Junjian as fighting only, then it's not so obvious. But if you think of learning Yong Junjian as a way of mastering yourself, as a way of learning to defend yourself. It's very important to realize that defending yourself is not about fighting. Sometimes the best solution is to avoid the fight, to learn to de-escalate conflict. When somebody is coming at us with a lot of force, we don't meet that force. We learn to step out of the way. In Chinese, we say yiro ke gang. The idea is to let the force pass, disappear, to let it go, and move them in a different direction.